Hey there! You might be wondering why this video is not a new electronics project or something similar. Well, I didn't have much time lately to work on new projects, but since my YouTube channel is pretty close to 200,000 subscribers, I thought it would be a good idea to answer some questions you asked me over social media. Before I start though, there are two small things I would like to mention. Firstly, I already answered quite a lot of questions in an interview with the Amp Hour recently. So just in case your question does not get answered, head over there, listen to the podcast and you will probably find your answer. Secondly, I think Q&A videos can be a bit boring sometimes. That is why you can now open the video description and you should see all the questions I will answer with time marks. You can just go to the interesting ones and skip the rest, if that's what you want to do. Okay, let's get started. What type videos do you enjoy making the most and which type of videos are most demanding to create? My favorite kind of videos to produce are definitely the project videos, even though they take the largest amount of time, and the most demanding videos to produce are the basic videos, just because it can be difficult to find a fitting concept which combines the theory with practical circuits while keeping it all relatively simple and easy to understand. When are we going to see your new 3D printer in action or review? In case you didn't know it yet, probably because you don't follow me on social media, I got myself a new Delta 3D printer kit not too long ago. Here it is! Uh. I already completed the assembly, did some tests and upgraded it with a heated bed. And now I can say that I'm happy with my purchase. If everything goes according to plan, the video about it should come out in a week. Maybe it'll be a review, maybe a versus video, maybe a 3D printer beginner's guides, I'm not sure yet. <coughs> what are you studying? Currently I'm studying for my Masters of Science degree in Electrical Power Engineering. Do you have any experience soldering wires to an XT60 connector? Is there a trick involved because my solder never sticks to them? I've soldered wires to such connectors dozens of times before and I don't think that there's a special trick involved. Just make sure that you heat up the metal long enough until your solder flows right onto it. How does constant voltage versus constant current work? If you take any power supply you have laying around, then you will see that it has a fixed voltage output. The component or circuit you hook it up to will draw as much current as it needs, or as much as Ohm's law says. But if you exceed the current limit, a fuse might pop or your voltage breaks down. A constant current source on the other hand, like the name already suggests, will pump a set current into your circuit. This can be useful for 5mm LEDs, since the voltage drop of seemingly identical LEDs is never completely the same. But this constant current can also break down if you exceed the maximum output voltage your constant current source can handle. It's a bit complicated. I might do a versus video about it. Where do you get your silvered copper wire from? I get mine from Konrad's, but if you search for silvered copper wire on eBay or Amazon, it shouldn't be hard to find. Hopefully. Do you prefer LED lights for your house light? Yes, I do. I use those GU10 SMD LEDs nearly everywhere in my apartment. Can you do a video about thyristors? Well, of course. And if someone else have more video suggestions, always leave them in the comment section below. Have you heard about the ESP32? Of course, and the specs sound pretty awesome. I might do a video about it. Except for eBay, where do you buy the parts for your electronics projects? Nowhere. I honestly just buy all the parts from eBay, especially the seller GNC Supermarket is really awesome. I put a link in the description if you want to check it out. But I guess for cases, I also visit my local Konrad store. What's the title of your bachelor thesis at university? And the title is Positioning Systems for the Inductive Charging with Electric Vehicles. Sounds awesome. What are your favorite projects? From a useful point of view, it is definitely the Bluetooth music system I installed in the ceiling of my bathroom. I still use it every day, which is not bad. But aside from that, I also favor all my LED projects, especially the LED cubes, or my big LED matrix over there. Have you ever blown up a circuit? I think everyone who's into electronic has blown up a circuit at some point. So the answer is yes. More than just one by the way. What wire strippers and soldering iron do you use? 
I use the Yukari Super 4 Plus and the Erza Icon Pico. Can you make the Q&A video in German? Nein. Bro, what's your real name? Jeremy Pascal. Are you planning to make videos with German voice? Mm, momentan noch nicht. Can you make a post office box so that we can send you stuff? I could do that, but I'm not completely sure how interested people are in postback videos from me or something similar. But feel free to let me know your opinion in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Stay creative and I will see you next time.